Nailed it. And that, my friends, was the mating call of a male Jigglypuff. Mating call of a male Jigglypuff. What do you guys think? Should I go on uh, Canada's Got Talent? Didn't you know my uh, microphone's still on a drumstick? Anyways, what is going on, my fellow poke enthusiastic elite geeks and otherwise equally epic nerds all around the globe? Trey here, enthusiastically coming at you from my Pokemon cave, aka my office of awesomeness. <laughs> As many of you already know. For real, though, I'm honestly a uh, certified professional zipper DJ, so, uh, you know, if you ever need one. <laughs> Hire me, I do weddings. Would you look at that, it's already quarter past, I should open something o'clock. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. And amazing? I'm just messing around, you know? Just a little joke. Uh -huh. Anyways, before we dive further into the black hole that is my content, content as we'll call it, for uh, any of you uh, poor unfortunate souls. Poor unfortunate souls. Little Mermaid references, like what the fuck, bro? Anyways, for any of you poor unfortunate souls who are actually uh, sitting through listening to me banter, I have uh, an opportunity for you to, uh, to win through a 1,000 subscriber subliminal secret giveaway i just that was right on the spot that was one take that was good that's what we'll call it a 1000 subscribers secret subliminal giveaway so are you listening are you paying attention look deep into my black eyes look chad look at me child on the last episode that i put out within the first two minutes and 15 seconds of that video i uh, subliminally and secretly spelt out a uh, a pokemon's name for real so mysterious seriously you'll see it you'll just have to look hard look harder like Lion King references now. Like, I don't know where my brain goes when I do this stuff, but I'll give you a hint though. It's somewhere like within this general vicinity right here. It's actually like on the curtain. I'll pretty much giving it to you. Anyway, if you want to win, the first person that I see in the comments below to spell out the name of the Pokemon that I subliminally spelt out, I'm going to send you a little, a little something. A little something, something. Something a little spicy, you know? Spoiler alert, it's a uh, single pack of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Woo! Big prizes on this channel, people. Big prizes. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for my uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaways. Uh, shipping is on me. Shipping worldwide, unless you live in, like, I don't know, the Bermuda Triangle. Probably hard for me to ship something there, so... So as long as you live anywhere except for the Bermuda Triangle, I'll uh, ship that off to you. I know part of me thought that it would be like a fun idea. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You, you let me know. Moving right along. Boom. Bang. Somebody's screaming like bloody murder out front of my house. I'm wondering if I should go help or open Pokemon cards. May RCS be with you. Anyways, on today's episode, I'm going to be uh, continuing on a, a segment I started on my channel a little while ago. Thought it'd be fun. Think of stuff like this when you hang out with yourself, you know? You're a good friend, Trey. Thanks, bro. Because when you hang out with yourself, you think of stuff like this. You know? I feel like it uh, picked up some steam within the community, you know? I feel like a couple other people were doing it. Perhaps thought it was a good idea. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to be diving back into a segment that I like to call uh, Value Versus. I bet you'll never guess what I'm doing. And in case you couldn't guess, a short synopsis of these Value Versus pack battles that I do against myself because, well, I'm just my own best friend now, aren't I? Seriously, bro, you're, you're, you're awesome. Just shut up, I don't want to hear you right now. Quick short synopsis. Typically what I do is I buy an even amount of two different kinds of trading card products. They could be the same brand, like Pokemon, or sometimes I'll do Magic versus Pokemon. In this circumstance, it's just three packs of the recently released Sword and Shield. And then on my left, a hopefully super spicy Mewtwo pin collection box from Hidden Fates. I then take these two products and I uh, pit them against one another, you know? Make them battle. And uh, see which one gives me better value. Hopefully in the end, your wallet is the true winner. Before we get into today's shenanigans, I'd like to uh, strongly encourage you to uh, Mega punch or uh, hyper beam that like button, whatever your polka preference is, or just click it. Or you can press that dislike button and then put your fist through your computer monitor. Whatever. Whatever you want. Excuse me. Anyways. Again, thank you guys so much for 1K. I wish I could do a little bit more of an extravagant giveaway, but that's what we got going on. With that said, shall we uh, open some Pokemon cards? Yeah, Bob, what the fuck are you waiting for? Alrighty. Catch you on the other side. Let the battle commence. Oh, yeah. Total noob when it comes to the sword and shield. Not entirely certain what you can pull out of this set as an entirety. Nothing I'm looking for to specifically. Maybe the, all right, I'll say, I'll say that. King Kai Planet Snorlax. Three, hopefully super spicy packs of the recently released sword and shield. Versus. Three, hopefully super spicy packs of hidden fates that will contain a shiny Glurak for, for Trey right here. Please and thanks. Hidden fates. Sword and shield. Dear Arceus, please bless my packs. First things first. Got to delicately open this Mewtwo pin collection box. Perfect. Shiny Mewtwo. Very nice. And of course, a pack code for my Poke Peeps. There it is. 
There it isn't. Let me know what you get. Nice pin. Perfect. And of course... Oh, yeah. Hidden Fates, Sword and Shield. Let's do this. Commence battle. And for the first pack in a long while on, uh, on my channel here, we're going to be cracking into the Hidden Fates side first. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Ready? <laughs> pack code for you guys right there. There it is. There it isn't. I'm going to go one, two, three to the back. I'm going to pray that there's an energy still with these. Oh, look, there is. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Shout out Ando Duo. On your mark, get set, go. Here we go. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Brox Pewter, Town City Gym, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp. We got a Pikachu. And yeah, ooh, Shiny Cartana. I will take it. Followed by some. <gasps> All right. Well, you know what? Not off to a bad start. Sleeves. Sleeves are important. I think this box has a couple in it. We'll use some Dragon Shields. Shout out Dragon Shields. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag that'd be cool though. All right, this is, I'm actually pretty hyped for this. I have not opened any of this. I realistically didn't entirely plan on opening. I mean, not any of it or not none of it, but just a very little amount of it. Okay, pack code, I got this. Look at, here we go. It's like I've, it's like I never went away from doing it. Three, and, there we go. A little bit of water, oh, so pretty. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Oh man, let's, uh, let's play Enunciate the Pokemon. Corvisquire. Thwacky. Pokemon Catcher. Awesome. I haven't even seen like some of these. Even some of these Pokemon, realistically. I only played uh, Shield for a little bit. Getting right into it. Chinchow. Diglett Dig. Diglett Dig. Pharaoh Seed. Goldeen Goldeen. Reverse Hollow Joltik. And... <gasps> hey, a regular rare Ninetales. That's really cool, though. Fancy Pantsy. Next. Hidden Fates pack number two. Mew. How do you do? Come on. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to open packs of Pokemon cards. I'm seeing a Caterpie off the hop. Let's get right into this. Pack code for you guys right there. There it is. There it isn't. Unos, dos, tres. And we got a fire. Can we have a fire? Yes. That's a fire foreshadowing to the super spice we're about to pull. Yo, I talked about Jinx earlier. Smooching Jinx. Magmar. Farfetched. Farfetched. Caterpie. Charmander. Clefairy. Psyduck. Throwing cards everywhere. Magikarp. Reverse Hollow Eevee. And, and, and we got nothing. We've got, got a regular rare Lapras. That's just awesome. Next. Second pack of Sword and Shield, and my office is already looking like a whirlwind of Pokemon cards from them just being absolutely everywhere. Nonetheless, tossing them around. Pack code for you guys. Hopefully you're catching those. And uh, let's uh, see what we got. Did I just do that right? Oh yeah, here we go. Electrifying Energy. And we've got a Raboot. We've got a Lumbari. Alola Energy. Aurora Energy, I should say. Goldeen, Goldeen. Rosalia. Joltik. Silcobra. Freaky Deaky. Blip Pug. Reverse Hollow Mawile. <gasps> do I see something? <gasps> I don't at all whatsoever. I thought I did. Inteleon. Oh, well then. We got a Lapras and a Inteleon. Perfect. Next. I'm opening another sword and shield pack in hopes that leaving the best for last on the Hidden Fate side will yield something epic. Now let's try to open this pack. Here we go. We've got a Clobopus. That's just fun to say. We got one, two, three to the back from the Clobopus. And we got a... We got a leaf energy again. Here we go. Check it out. Leaf, grass, whatever you want to call it. Doug Trio. Pokemon Center Lady. Energy Retrieval. Clobopus. There it is again. Goldeen, Goldeen. I'm seeing this a lot. Rosalia. Ghastly. <gasps> We've got a Pawniered. Reverse hollow energy retrieval. And I see something. Boom! Shaka Laka! Full art! Team Yell Grunt! Super Spice! That's a nice looking card there, eh? Coolio Julio. Well, I'm not entirely certain what the value of this card is, but we'll find out momentarily. There it is. I really hope it's like over $10. Awesome! Next! Last pack of Hidden Fates in this value versus pack battle, box battle, whatever you would like to call it. And uh, so far, Sword and Shield taking the W, and uh, Hidden Fates taking the loss, man. It's really weird, because usually this set is uh, is decent with the with the pull rates. But you know, I guess a shiny Kartana isn't uh, isn't uh, something to complain about. Ooh, shout out Charmeleon right there. If you guys haven't seen that Charmeleon tattoo I got recently, check it out on my Instagram. Charmeleon. Jinx. Plug in my IG. Of course, got a Graveler. Uh, Clefairy. I skipped one slowpoke there. Jigglypuff. I was going to sing it, but I'll spare you. We got uh, Evie right here. Shout out Edith and Evie. Reverse Hollow Jolteon. And... <gasps> Come on, really? I probably don't need to look at the information to gather the factual truth that is, uh, I think Sword and Shield is taking the W here. Wah, wah, wah. Figures for the first episode back, I would pull nearly nothing out of a, uh, Hidden Fates box. Well, guys, that about sums it up for today's value versus box battle. Th Overall, not too shabby at all whatsoever, getting that shiny Kartana in this, uh, full art team yell grunt. Pretty sweet. Is what it is. Always grateful to, uh, crack into some packs. Uh, can't always win all of them, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to kick it on today's episode with 
this uh, total nerd right here. Doing a crack into some more hidden fates before I do some sword and shield, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, really stoked to get back to creating some content within the community here and uh, cracking some packs with you guys. So thanks for coming to hang out. Anyways, friends, until that next episode, you guys train on, game on, stay epic, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one. Anime peace sign.